Hello beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nadia. And in today's video, if y'all have seen this shirt already this week, that is because I am batch recording. Okay, you guys. <laughs> Anyways, welcome back to another video. We are sampling today MFK's Grand Soir. You guys, I have had this sample for quite some time time i don't know why i have taken so long to do this video i was like you keep ordering these samples and you're sniffing them and sticking them to the side instead of doing what you love to do is sniffing them and then reviewing them with your people so here we are talking about grand soir grand soir is a fragrance for men and women so it is unisex the main accords are amber and vanilla that's it okay <laughs> So Grand Soir, dang, Grand Soir came out in 2016, is an amber fragrance for men and women. So the fragrance notes are amber, vanilla, Siam benzoin, tonka bean, Spanish labdanum, and lavender. All right, so you guys, let's talk about it. Let's go over some pros and cons and then we'll get into the smell and all that. So pros, high quality fragrance, beautiful scent with warmth from amber, vanilla, and wood textbook example of amber's genre excellent longevity addictively attractive suitable for all genders scent approximates perfume oils tenacity great for layering cons not preferred by people who prefer fresh clean scents very true if that is your thing this will not be <laughs> fairly linear scent with little complexity and nuance may cause backlash from sensitive noses in warm weather moderate sillage Feminine dry down, perceived as too sweet by some people, blunt with no depth or nuances, harsh burnt edge to the scent, unbalanced scent. Okay, man, y'all harsh on these cons. All right, so let's talk about it. I didn't put on so much perfume today. I, at this point, I don't even have a space to put anything, but I know I don't have to because I know what this smells like right off the top of my head. <sighs> so you guys grand swore they say it is for men and women i plan is it blind by safe absolutely not no you need to sample this <laughs> at this point i feel like most a lot of y'all probably have sampled it or smelled it got your noses on it somewhere so it's definitely not blind by safe um to me like this is a fragrance but y'all know my scent hell i always tell y'all i have a wide nose because i like all different types of scents fruity clean sweet floral unisex masculine it does not matter to me only thing i don't feel like i probably care for is maybe i like oud fragrance i like some oud fragrances but the ouds have to smell a certain way for me to enjoy them if they're extremely heavy on the oud i tend to run away from them um Maybe leather also, depending on if it's how it's blended. Because those I pick up very strong. And I'm kind of like, okay, that's a bit much for me. But other than that, I'm willing to try anything. <laughs> okay. So, Grand Soir is something that I, it is my type of taste. It is something that I love. I love unisex fragrances. This one in particular, Lane's very masculine. They said that the dry down is too sweet for some people. It picks up masculine to me. Um, I know a lot of women have this because it is marketed as a unisex fragrance. But you guys, this is a very masculine scent. Now, y'all, I love it. I'm not. That is not a complaint for me. I absolutely love it. Full bottle, bottle worthy for me. Absolutely. Um, but I know a lot of y'all don't like masculine leaning scents. A lot of y'all don't like unisex scents at all. I have noticed that. So if you don't like unisex scents, I bit the, bit the inside of my jaw. If you don't like unisex scents, you definitely will not, I feel like will not like this because, and this is just my opinion, correct me if I'm wrong. If y'all in the comments and y'all don't like unisex scents, but you like Grand Soir, let them know down in the comments because this is just my opinion and I could be wrong. But from the ladies that I know that don't like unisex scents, this is heavy. And it leans masculine. 
it's very amber you guys i but I, y'all know I love amber. A lot of my fragrances have amber in them and a lot of my favorite fragrances have vanilla in them. So this is the perfect blend of amber and vanilla. But like I said, it leans very masculine. So definitely order a sample of this one before you pull the trigger on even the smallest size bottle because like it's weird that I got it on my thumb. And I'm smelling it like this, but I literally have something on every part of me right now on my arm and hand. So this is my only space. Oh God, it smells so good. To me, this scent smells so rich. Um, Y'all know that I'm not the type of person to put my fragrances in a certain climate, um, part of day, like anything like this. But honestly, this one, I really can see me mostly only wearing this at nighttime maybe in the cold <laughs> oh my god it's such a nice thing i love it i absolutely love it it is a definite thumbs up for me it's definitely full bottle worthy mfk scents when they're done right they are just done so right and that is this one it just smells rich <laughs> i love baccarat and everybody loves baccarat but i need y'all to order a bunch of the other fragrances from the house so that y'all can see how good of a nose they that this man has because it's awesome i really really love it i'm gonna enjoy it when i do get my big bottle i have ordered a dupe of it and i'm gonna do a comparison video for you guys when i get that in so be looking out for that as of right now we just wanted to touch on this and sample it and let the girls know how good it is because it is but you got to be careful if you don't like masculine leaning scents okay all right you guys that is all for tonight i am about to go shower and this is my last video i'm going to record as always thank you so much for tuning in to another video before you leave make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye you guys